trauma permanently changes us. Hey, it's Nair Uplifting Others. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, Uplifter. I just want to share this quick little, I guess we palm and then give you like my thoughts on it. I had it for a few years in my phone, but I wanted to share it. This is the big scary truth about trauma. There is no such thing as getting over it. The five stages of grief model marks universal stages in learning to accept loss, but the reality is in fact much bigger. A major life disruption leaves a new normal in its wake. There's no back to the old me. You are different now, full stop. I want to read exactly how it is. This is not a wholly negative thing. Healing from trauma can also mean finding new strength and joy. The goal of healing is not a papering over of changes in an effort to preserve or present things as normal. It is to acknowledge and wear your new life, warts, wisdom, and all with courage. I agree with that because I feel like dealing when you have dealt with trauma you're never the same again dealing with trauma when i was a child i never was the same i never was the same janae ever again in life like i never was the same bubbly child that liked to just go outside play have have fun and just be a child i was on autopilot like i was just going through life going through the motions or not wanting to go through the motions and suppressing my memories and my my thoughts and my feelings of my trauma because i didn't want to deal with it there's no normal there's no getting back to the old you it's finding the new you and unfortunately for a child dealing with trauma like even if you would go to a therapist or a psychologist and get professional help, how can you truly start to know yourself, your new self, as a child, you came. As I started my healing journey in my 20s, I realized that it really changed me. The trauma changed me, it changed the way I looked at everyone, everything, and it's no getting over it. People will tell you to forgive and forget. They'll tell you, you know, it's been years. It's, oh, you gotta let it go. You have to get over it. It's no such thing as getting over it. It doesn't matter how healed you are. It doesn't matter if you're in a better headspace. You can't get over it. Even if you don't think about it often, you will always have those memories that'll creep up sometimes and remind you what happened to you. Well, I know that's the case for me sometimes. Even though I'm healing, even though I'm in a better place, even though I don't think about it, it's something that will remind me that my childhood was ruined because of my uncle. And it's a horrible feeling. It's a horrible thing. It makes me angry. And the biggest thing that has, like, that, that made me mad when I realized that my childhood memories i don't remember a lot of them some of them i do some of them i don't but when i realize that the moments that i share some of the moments that i share with my dad that's no longer here i don't remember them and it makes me mad because my predator took that from me but i am glad that i have found my voice and i'm finding ways to heal and trauma permanently changes us, but we can be beautifully made over. We're not just survivors of trauma. We are warriors. We're strong, even when we don't wanna be strong. We're powerful. Even when we don't feel powerful at all. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.